Hey guys, so today I'm going to tell you why you should not buy, now it used to be 60, but it's $80 fat packs. And the simple explanation is wait, 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 wait. Because Oath of the Gatewatch, just gonna call this right now, I have no evidence, I have no proof of this actually being true, except my gut feeling. And that's what most of my speculations are based on. They're not based on tremendous amount of logic, they're based on what I've experienced before and my gut feeling here. Oath of the Gatewatch will have 84 full art lands, calling it right now. And the reason I believe this is going to be true is because this set had 84 art lands, as I highlighted right here. 40 Zendikar basic lands, the kind without the text box, meaning full art. So Oath of the Gatecrafts, Oath of the Gatewatch is the set after Battle for Zendikar. Whirlwake was the set after original Zendikar. Original Zendikar, the fat packs all had 44 lands because back in that day, you had your land packs were only 40. Then the next fat pack set, Whirlwake also had 40 full art lands. Just no one remembers it because they were not buying fat packs. They were buying boxes to get Jaces and Stoneforge Mystics. Well, the Stoneforge Mystic was mainly me, but everyone else was trying to get a Jace. So no one really purchased fat packs. Now, given the fact that there is a tremendous amount of backlash for Wizards of the Coast, would you imagine, yes or no, they would have learned to probably make more fat packs of Oath of the Gatewatch? Battle for Zendikar, it's too late. Those fat packs are pretty much gone. Oath of the Gatewatch, though, do you think they would repeat the same experience? Or do you feel like they would learn and be like, oh man, we probably need to produce two, four, eight times as many fat packs. They're gonna learn because that makes them money. They left money on the table for Battle for Zendikar fat packs. They will not leave money on the table for Oath of the Gatewatch. What can sell fat packs? Four art lands, 80 of them in Oath of the Gatewatch. So just go ahead, call it. I, Felt very confused why I had so much, so people were so upset at me because during, no one was upset during original battle, ah, original Zendikar, like, because we expected them to come out in Warwick and they did come out in Warwick. Would it really not do 84 lands in Over the Gatewatch? Would they really not up their production four times? It seems highly illogical because they're just making money. Why would they not want to make money? Anyway, that's it. Bye, guys.